Joining us live now is James Lake. He is with the Michigan Department of Transportation, and he lives uh, in an area that was affected by this tornado. Thank you so much for joining us tonight and speaking with us. And I know you are from this area. You live there. What is it like uh, having that personal connection? Well, uh, working in town today, helping alongside fellow residents, uh, cleaning up some of the storm debris, uh, cutting trees, uh, it, it made me feel very proud uh, to be uh, part of this community. Yeah, is, you, is the community coming together? I know you're a small, tight-knit community. It, it's it's uh, really impressive. Uh, when I went into town uh, today, I expected uh, maybe a few dozen people out uh, helping to clean up, but there were hundreds. I think everyone in our county who had a trailer or a truck or a chainsaw was was in town uh, doing their part to help out. And have you ever seen anything like this before? Because it's rare in your area. Very rare. We've had tornadoes before, but uh, typically they're they're in less populated parts of, of northern Michigan, or they're not of this intensity. Uh, this is certainly the, the strongest storm that I can recall in our area. What was it like to experience it? I mean, just when it happened, forget about the aftermath and, and the tragedy of it all and the damage, but just to experience that short amount of time. Well, fortunately, I, I live in an area that was far enough removed from the storm that uh, it wasn't uh, as dramatic. But uh, be, because we're, we're such a small community, very quickly we became aware of, of how powerful uh, the storm was. And what about in your capacity, you know, working with the Department of Transportation, what do the roads look like right now? What is the damage like? What are you seeing? Well, the roads themselves are not damaged. Uh, they were closed uh, for, for quite a while beginning last night. Uh, debris was everywhere. We just simply couldn't let traffic through on I-75 or M32, the main route. Uh, crews were cleaning uh, through the night, uh, through today, and we reopened both of those routes uh, this afternoon. Um, but all, all the local streets, uh, if, if not choked with debris and downed trees, were, were clogged with, with people that were trying to help, trying to, to reach their neighbors and, and help out. And I know you probably know a lot of those people. Do you know anyone who was, who was injured or worse? I, I do not, uh, but uh, so far we, we don't know uh, the, the identities of, of all the people that, uh, that have been injured or, or killed. Um, so I, I, I do not know. I, I heard from many of my friends and family uh, through the evening that uh, checked in safe and, and were checking on me. Uh, so uh, very, very close community, a uh, lot, lot of care for each other. Just looking around, how long do you think it's going to take before you all get back to normal? I mean, it happens so quickly and it leaves so much devastation behind for so long. Well, the crews that were out uh, did an amazing amount of work uh, throughout the day, but some of the buildings that were damaged extensively, I, I, I would imagine it will be weeks or, or months before uh, town starts looking familiar again. All right, James Lake, uh, thoughts are with your community. Thank you for joining us tonight. Thanks for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.